part four. In the previous video, we initiated the discussion of the spider trap issue in the page rank algorithm. In this video, we will discuss it in detail. In the context of the page rank algorithm, the spider trap issue presents a significant problem. We know that the page rank algorithm works by spreading page rank or importance values from each website to outbound websites. That is, each website receives its importance values via inbound hyperlinks. A spider trap is a website that has incoming links, but its outgoing links are directed toward itself only. A spider trap does not hyperlink to other websites. Why is that a problem? The spider trap web page on the internet, like this, would get all the page rank juice after running the page rank algorithm. So the spider trip will have a page rank score of 1.0 and the other websites will have zeros. That will create an illusion to the page rank algorithm that the spider trap website is the most important web page. In my experience, the concept of a spider trap is better explained by the random surfer model, which we already know from the page rank algorithm that we discussed. But I never used the term random surfer model because I do not like throwing jargon without explaining them. Now is a good time I explain what a random surfer model is. The random surfer model is a conceptual foundation of the page rank algorithm. It simulates the behavior of an internet user who navigates the web by randomly clicking on links. The model assumes that users are more likely to visit important pages since important pages have more inbound links. As the user follows the hyperlinks from one page to another, the likelihood of landing on a particular page corresponds to its page rank value. Let me explain the random surfer model with an example. Let us say that we have a network, drop an equal number of spiders on each node. For example, drop 100 spiders on each node of this network. In three nodes, there are a total of 300 spiders. Now ask each spider to use a random outgoing link from wherever it is to jump to another node. After the jump using a random outgoing link, the number of spiders in each node will change. Each node might not contain an equal number of spiders anymore. Let us again ask the spiders to jump to another node using a random outgoing link from the node they are in. The number of spiders in each node changes again. Ask the spider to jump again using a random outbound hyperlink. After many, many, many such jumps, how many spiders are the nodes A, B and C containing? Pause the video for a few seconds to figure out how many spiders each node a, B, and C will contain after many, many, many jumps. Let me give you the answer. After many, many, many jumps of the spiders using random outbound links, node A will contain no spiders at all. Also, node B will contain no spiders at all. Node C alone will contain all the 300 spiders. Why will only node C contain all the spiders? That will happen because node C links to itself and it does not have any outgoing links taking the spiders to other nodes. Node C has only one outgoing link that brings the spiders back to node C. The spiders that entered node C will always remain in node C. With many, many, many jumps, each spider at some point will go to node C and will never be able to be out of node C. Once all spiders are trapped in node C, they will jump when asked to jump using the outgoing link, but the outgoing link is also an incoming link to node C. Hence, 
all spiders will be back to node C. That means node C is a spider trap. It trapped all spiders. This is exactly what is happening in the page rank algorithm. In each iteration, when we are multiplying the column stochastic transition matrix with the rank vector, we are actually telling the spiders to use a random hyperlink to jump to another website. Probabilistically, if a website has two outgoing links, half the spiders from that website will use one outgoing link and the other half will use another outgoing link. In my example, I used 300 spiders, but we generally have a total of 1.0 in the page rank algorithm. Out of that 1.0, one third initialization is for node A, one third initialization is for node B, and one third initialization is for node C in the page rank execution in the very beginning. For the initialization, with the example of spiders, we dropped 100 spiders in each node. This is why our total of 300 spiders ended up in node C. With one-third spider on each node, after the convergence, node C will have all three one-third spiders, summing that up to 1.0. If a spider trap is present, the hypothetical surfer, or the spider in our example, gets stuck in that spider trap node. Remember, the internet is also called web. So, spider, web, spider trap, all these terms now make better sense. A spider trap causes a massive problem for the page rank algorithm. A website could decisively only hyperlink to itself and beat the page rank algorithm, leading to inaccurate ranking. But of course, it is not that easy to beat Google. Google solved the spider trap issue by introducing another concept called random teleportation, or simply teleportation. The idea of random teleportation is such that a random surfer, when surfing or browsing, can of course use hyperlinks to go to another website, but the surfer can also decide to restart the surfing and start from anywhere else. That is quite natural with our surfing habit. When we surf the internet, we click and we click, and at some point we might decide to go to another website without clicking. We are not bound to use hyperlinks all the time. This concept of not using the hyperlink all the time and the ability to jump to any website with a certain probability is called teleportation or random teleportation. That means with teleportation, the spiders that were going to node C have a chance to teleport to any website randomly. Spiders need not get stuck in a spider trap when teleportation is enabled. Isn't that amazing? Now, the question is, how do we incorporate the concept of teleportation into the vanilla page rank algorithm we discussed before? Of course, that will be in the following video. Before teleporting to the next video, smash the like button and subscribe to this channel. See you soon.